A warrant has been issued in Anguilla for the arrest of a Connecticut man after he didn't appear in court. Scott Hapgood's defense team says he was concerned for his safety. CBS New York's Hazel Sanchez has more. Scott Hapgood has always been open about being afraid to return to Anguilla after being charged with manslaughter. I go back and forth to Anguilla in the face of significant dangers to make sure that the facts come out because the hard science shows what really happened. Now he's a fugitive. Hapgood is accused of choking to death maintenance worker Kenny Mitchell, whom the married father of three claims showed up to his family's hotel room with a knife, attempting to rob him. However, a new toxicology study shows Mitchell died from a drug overdose. As part of Hapgood's bail agreement, the Darien, Connecticut man was expected to be in court in Anguilla Monday afternoon. But instead, his legal team emailed the judge, saying they advised him not to appear. His international lawyer, Julia Arbisman, saying Hapgood wants to clear his name and isn't running from trial, but he cannot clear his name if he is dead or if the legal process by which he is bound is fundamentally biased and unjust. In a statement to the press, the country's attorney general says Hapgood's concerns are totally groundless and filed for an international arrest warrant circulating it through Interpol since Anguilla is a British territory. The Anguillan governor says the defense team's claims of growing unrest because of this matter simply defies belief, calling their actions public relations shenanigans. Hapgood's $74,000 bail bond he posted for his release in April has now been forfeited. In the newsroom, Hazel Sanchez, CBSN, New York.